Hello everybody, my name is Eric Griffin, and this is my mousetrap car. A mousetrap car works on a lever, which is a simple machine. So machines are machines that we can use to do more work with less force. This is the car. Here are the wheel and axles, which are connected to these little things called eyelets. The eyelets are connected to the body of the car, which is known as the chassis. The chassis is where this lever comes in, which is connected to the lever arm, which powers the car. You set up the car by moving the lever over here, and by putting this piece over it, and into the cheese. You lift the cheese up, and it holds in place. Then, you just wind the wheels up, and then you are set for your mousetrap car. The process we went through was a basic process of engineering. Modifying, testing, modifying mistakes, testing, modifying again, and testing, and so on and so forth. One of the first mistakes we had was that our car kept doing a backflip and nothing else would happen. In order to stabilize the back of the car, we made the back wheels bigger to weigh it down. On the first testing day, our car stopped as soon as it was activated. We tried modifying the axles to um, add more tension, but that only made it flip over again. Desperate for our last attempt, I took the car home and worked on the lever arm to try and make it pull correctly. On the day testing, our car did move forward, but only 20 centimeters. If I would have done this differently, I would have made sure that the lever arm pulled more and made the axle spin more, thus meaning that the car went farther. Thanks for watching. Bye!